What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Have you ever wondered where Minecraft started? How the different updates of Minecraft shaped the game that we have today? Well today I'm going to be taking a trip down memory lane and playing through every single major update of Minecraft. Starting on version 1.0, the world will have a major update every 5 days, which should land us to one of the snapshots for 1.18 by the end of day 100. Well that's enough of this brief introduction. Sit down, grab some popcorn, and enjoy today's video. So loading into day one, this is actually the first time I've experienced 1.0 on a PC or the Java edition of Minecraft and I'm looking around and I'm so glad that they changed the texture of the sand because if I was playing like this like now, I would definitely be complaining because the sand just does not look very good. It all blends with each other way too much. Well, anyway, I noticed some interesting generation over here. One thing about previous versions of Minecraft is that the generation of terrain has like changed tremendously because I don't think we'd be seeing these huge mountains all over the place in 1.17. Also, fighting these pigs is a hassle. They jump around and I basically have like knockback five on my fists. There was a single tree over here, so of course I grabbed it. And after that, I set down a crafting table and made myself a wooden pickaxe. Also, I'm sorry if I seem a little clunky, but the controls are much different in this version of Minecraft. There is no button to make you sprint, so I'm just, I'm kind of having trouble sprinting. I'm just not used to double tapping W. Well, with my brand new trusty wooden pickaxe, I began mining some stone. Then I made myself a stone pickaxe, and I actually got really lucky because there was a bunch of iron just chilling on the surface here. Wow, this cave is actually pretty big, and right now I've only been seeing iron, haven't seen any coal yet. Alright, I need to catch up real quick, so I, I tried my best to record this, but I, I couldn't get my recording thing to work, but a skeleton pulled up on me, and I'm at one and a half hearts. I feel like mobs do way more damage, or just are way more scarier in early days of Minecraft. I'm gonna try to get myself out of this rabbit hole. I can't even lie, these are some very scary experiences, and I wasn't trying to die right away on the first night, so I just played it safe and did the traditional hide yourself in a hole for the first night trick. When I finally noticed it was day, a creeper was literally right next to my entrance, man. It was so close to exploding. I forgot about creepers, so I'm actually going to arm myself with a stone sword before I leave. Now this time, I'm going to try mining up in a different direction. Now you will not believe what happened next. I don't know how this is possible, but another creeper just showed up outside of my hole and I freaked out. Right away, I thought for sure I was dead there. It took me a while, but I finally managed to find a safe way out. Now I'm going to say goodbye to this place since there's not much wood and it's kind of unsafe for me. I need to go out and try to find some more trees and maybe like a plains biome where I can settle down. I do see some trees over there behind those extreme cliffs. When I climbed on top of the mountain, I finally found some food. I ate some raw chicken. It did give me some salmonella, but I think I'll last through it. Killing all these pigs with my brand new sword makes it so much easier. I can just two tap them. Well, after I got some wood, the sun was already setting. This is crazy. I think I stayed in that hole for a bit too long. I made a furnace so I can cook up the food. Hopefully I can reach out my hunger and then that way I can actually get back to full health. When nighttime rolled in, I started running away because there was a creeper following me. I knew I had to find a hole or a cave or somewhere to just chill at because there were mobs all over the place. I eventually decided there was nowhere else I could really run and I had to go down into a hole again. I need to get up and out of the hole earlier. I swear I only had like five minutes of daylight today. I had nothing else to do that night so I just decided to go mining for a bit, gather some stone, and I realized that the saturation in the early versions of Minecraft worked much differently. Like, I healed back to full health, and I still haven't lost any hunger. Also, right here, I'm kind of struggling. I'm trying to create just some light for me to work with. There we go. Oh my goodness, we can see. When I saw this cave, I walked out and got immediately shot by a skeleton. Man, mobs are just so much more scarier in version 1.0. On day 3, this happened. I noticed it was day, so I just started walking out, and you already saw what happened to me. Luckily though, I started running back, and I did actually see the big creeper hole, which was a great thing because I was able to retrieve all of my items. Thank goodness this is not a hardcore world, I am clearly not very good at early versions of Minecraft. Well, later that day, I killed some more pigs, and found some coal, which is going to be really useful for torches, and I think I found a nice place to settle down. There's a lot of trees in this area, it just looks nice. I came across a herd of sheep, and I just killed three of them because I needed their wool. Looks like we will not have any more troubles with the nighttime. And I think here is going to be my permanent settling down area for a while in this video. It's actually kind of sick, there's this big patch of just stone and some gravel on the ground, makes for a very nice home. On day 4, I crafted an iron axe and I started chopping down a lot of the trees around me. We're gonna make some improvements to the house. And I'm making a very basic house for a basic time of Minecraft. For a simple man like me, this is all I really need right now to be honest. 
Also, a fun fact that some of you guys might not know, back in the day, all trees actually gave you the same type of wood. This birch tree, for example, was actually just called wood in Minecraft, and if you tried to put it in the crafting table, it would just give you normal wooden planks. I thought that was an interesting fact. And something that I forgot is that upside down stairs actually do not exist. So I can't really build a roof right now, or at least just part of it. Man, as the sun's setting, looking back at our house, it's looking pretty ugly, but you know, it's something about old Minecraft that is just so nostalgic to me. Especially with that huge mountain in the background, it's just so peaceful. Well, today is day 5, marking the last day we are going to be on version 1.0. I think I'm gonna go spend this time in mine a bit now that we've got our iron pickaxe as well as a bunch of torches. Something weird I've noticed is that since there is no F3, I can't really tell how deep I am, so I don't know really how far I gotta go. But while I was doing my staircase, I found a huge cave, which is super helpful for us. I should be able to find a ton of ores in here. Well now comes version 1.3. Now you're probably wondering where did 1.2 and 1.1 go? Well since there's not much of a content update in both of those versions, I think I'm just gonna combine all three of these into one. These next couple of updates added things like enchanted golden apples, which we are definitely going to try to craft if we can get the gold in time. It also introduced one of my favorite things about this game, trading. We've got emeralds and villagers trading now. And also a complete biome revamp. We've got things like beaches and new hill variants now. Alright, so we are officially in a new version, I smelted all the iron I got, gathered 32, and one good thing about this is we've got upside down stairs, hooray! We can finally make our roof look complete and look better. Well, I guess I'm just gonna continue working on the roof then. I also went out exploring and found a single pumpkin just chilling out here in this swampy biome, and you actually can wear it on your head. The pumpkins you find in the wild already come sheared, so I don't gotta do anything to it. Whoa, welcome to the land of newly generated chunks. This is something you won't usually see. We've got a desert right underneath a big snowy biome. Well, this is quite interesting. Also, we've got a ton of big spruce trees here and this update brings new types of wood. I'm gonna bring some of these back to our house to see if we can freshen up our house a little bit more. Um, yeah, this spruce really does not make it look too good, but the glass does. I like the glass. On day 7, I got some more wood and crafted some more stairs. We're gonna try to finish up the roof of the house today. Also, you can see that I tried working with the spruce stairs, but they didn't really match that well, so I think I'm just gonna go with the classic oak wood logs. So I think I'm finally done with the house, but there's just like a small little weird lighting glitch on the ceiling, I guess. I'm not sure how to fix that. But if we walk outside, here it is, the beautiful house. Oh, uh, disregard this dirt pillar real quick. Well, yeah, anyway, now we can take a look at the house. It's looking pretty great. I kind of do regret building it on stone now, though. It would fit way better in, like, a forest. Next, I finally put my iron ingots to good use. I crafted a full set of iron armor, and this was when I realized that my skin did not work for some reason. Well, it looks like I'm going to be playing as Steve for most of this video, probably. The next thing on my to-do list was to try to get a better source of food. I'm going to replace some of the stone near my house with some dirt, and hopefully we can have a renewable source of food coming in, which is going to be wheat, of course. And this was when I first experienced ghost blocks. I've heard this is a problem in old versions of Minecraft, and you just can't pick up these blocks for some reason, it's really weird, hopefully they despawn later. Alright mobs, well now that I got my full iron armor, y'all are nothing to me. Come over here skeleton. Maybe the creepers though, that's probably what I'm still partly scared about. I'm gonna go try to find some spiders, cause I really need the string. Oh my goodness, old combat bro, I just realized that old combat was a thing. Spam clicking is so much fun. On day 9, I crafted a bow with a new string that I gathered. This is gonna be so helpful for creepers and other mobs. I just need to get some flints to be able to make the arrows. I also stumbled across a large ravine when I was out exploring, and I noticed the old lava texture which brought back a lot of old memories. I went down into the ravine doing a really cool super MLG water bucket. And yeah, there was also a really weird looking tree down here too. I decided to just go mining a bit and found some easy gravel. Now there we go, I got my flint. And while I kept on exploring, I found another really cool ravine that was even further deeper, bro. And this one was even cooler than the one you just saw. Mainly because of its length. Look at that fog, bro. That is crazy. It's really giving it a spooky atmosphere. Towards the end of the ravine, I noticed a gold ore. Notice how I said A, because it turns out it was just a single piece. Kinda got scammed there, it's gonna take me a while to get this god apple. As I continued venturing down inside of the mine, I noticed a creeper and started running and found diamonds while I was running. I didn't even know I was this deep in. I really could not be dying here, so I played this strategically. I stood on the other side of the water and let the knockback of my sword get to him, and thankfully it didn't explode in any of the diamonds and I was really in luck this time. It was an 8 vein. I couldn't be any happier, man. I'm just so glad we didn't get scammed like that gold ore back there. And now comes update 1.4. This one was called the Pretty Scary Update, and it brought things such as the Wither, Bats, Witches, Anvils, Mob Heads, and other various items and changes. 
When I woke up today, the first thing that I saw was this little guy jumping around my house, but I'm gonna need to kill you for the slime. Never mind, I didn't get any slime from that. Also, I got a ton of iron as you can see here, 50 iron ore. Since we've got so much iron now, I think I'm just gonna finish up making my full set here. I also crafted a diamond pickaxe. I think I'm probably gonna go down into the mines and get some obsidian. Maybe we can look through the nether for a little bit, we can see what's different in the old version of the game. Finally found a place that was good for some obsidian. So now begins the really long and boring mining time. And when I looked up, I finally noticed those diamonds. Can't believe I missed them when I dropped in here. I don't know how I didn't see them. It was a five vein at the end. It's pretty decent, honestly. So I've gotten all my obsidian. I got a little bit of extra gold as well because we're gonna need that god apple. And I made my nether portal. Before I entered into the portal, I made myself a diamond sword and a helmet just for extra protection since I don't know how scary the nether is going to be. And when I entered into the portal, I immediately saw to my right that there was a nether fortress. How much luckier can we get here, man? I'm so glad this happened. We really don't have to go running out and far looking for a fortress now. Also, one thing I've noticed about the netherrack, it really looks weird. I like the new netherrack texture so much better. Alright, well, I guess it's time to look around. I'm gonna be totally honest, these nether fortresses are really boring. I think there are no chests here. I swear I've looked at a lot of places and I haven't been able to find any chests yet. So maybe loot inside of these nether fortresses didn't come out until later. That's kind of a shame, I was hoping to get some cool diamond horse armor. Yeah, and I basically just kept on exploring and kept on finding dead ends. Eventually I had enough of it and I decided to go and just kill some blazes and just gather a little bit of blaze rods. The potions are definitely going to be useful for us in the future. After I finally got out of that maze, I returned home to find that our wheat here like barely has grown. We're definitely going to need to find a better food source. Honestly, I think pigs just might have to do it for us. I did get a lot of goodies from the nether including some glowstone. With this blaze rod, I'm going to craft a brewing stand here. And whoa, look at that icon, man. They really changed that. This icon looks kind of clunky. I think the new icon is a big improvement. Well, since we have three diamonds here, I think the next thing we're gonna do is try to make an enchantment table. We're kind of at this point in the game where we can afford enchant, so I think this will be a good thing to do. I'm gonna head down into the mines and grab some obsidian. While I was down there, I kind of got more sidetracked because there was just a bunch of nice ores around. I didn't get that much iron, but I'm more focused on getting a bunch of gold because we need that god apple. I think the recipe gets removed in 1.9, so we still have a bit of time. Oh my goodness, while I'm heading back up, the sound of these slimes are just driving me nuts. Low he, I think I might want to move out of here soon. Living in the swamp area looks cool, but sound wise there are so many slimes out here on day 15 i had to venture out pretty far to find these cows for the books but after returning home i was able to craft a book and then make the enchantment table i think i'm just gonna have it in my house for now we're probably gonna move out soon anyway let's see here do we need lapis oh we do not need lapis i guess back then you didn't need to have lapis in order to enchant which i guess is a good thing but then also the prices are a bit more expensive here let's see what i can get from spending four levels Oh, sharpness, one. It's not that great. And then five levels here. Uh, efficiency, one. Dang. Those are some pretty weak enchants, but also I'm not really sure how I'm going to get so many books. We might need to make a cow farm. So since it's almost time to update to 1.5, I didn't really do much for the rest of the day except just look over my farm and I was sad because it got trampled. And also harvesting my wheat didn't give me back any seeds, which is pretty odd. But yeah, mobs can trample over your farm. It's much easier, I guess. Now it's Minecraft version 1.5, and this update brought things like daylight sensors, droppers, hoppers, comparators, and other redstone related items. They also added a new ore, quartz, which you could find in the nether. So now it's 1.5, and the first thing I did was completely unrelated to the update, but I gathered some sugarcane, and I wanted to start a sugarcane farm because I'm going to need this for the paper. I also decided that today was the day where I was going to move to a different location. I went back over to the place where I found all those cows, because there was a nice plains mountainous biome over there, and I began looking for a new permanent place to settle down. Yeah, I kind of like this. I think I might choose this area right here by this mountain. So once I put some chests down, now began the time to run all the way back and transport my items. Now this journey back and forth a couple of times took like a day and a half. Once I finally had all of our items moved over to our new area, I gathered a bunch of the nearby cows and I started herding them. Having a food source of steak is probably going to be our best bet right now. And here we go, I got all of them inside of a hole and I think later I'm probably going to have like an actual farm with like fences set up. For now, they're just going to have to stay in here. Before nightfall, I quickly dug out like an area for my house, planning on making it inside of this mountain right here. I think it's a nice area. Hopefully this can be a bit more of like a permanent house for us. On day 17, I remade my farm in my new area, and I also had a very, very close call with the creeper. I was just looking through my chests, looking for some items when a creeper crept up on me. I saw him in the corner of my screen and he got really close. And I almost forgot how to sprint because my sprint keybinds are different in this version of the game. Sorry if this clip seems a bit jittery by the way, I don't know why, but it recorded like that. Did end up killing it though, dropped me no gunpowder sadly. So now moving on from the incident back there, an idea popped into my mind. So since we had a bunch of slime balls from our old swamp, area, I had a great idea of making a 2x2 piston door. 
So I'm gonna go off a of design by memory. I used to make a lot like many many years ago It's a really OG design and it's probably not gonna be very efficient or compact to be honest I'm just gonna do all this off the top of my head I'll try my best and here we go I made a bunch of finishing touches and I finally completed it It looks pretty subtle in the side of the mountain and I also encountered a spider which I had a really intense staring contest with Sorry, man, I won that one, so I gotta go. Also, this is really simple. I barely used any redstone, as you can see here. And also, at the cobblestone, for now, I'm gonna keep it as cobblestone and just patch all this up. Later, if I feel like it, I think I'll go and smelt a bunch of smooth stone for us. So for the next two days, I'm gonna go mining more, and I'm actually gonna start creating the mine inside of our base this time, since we're kind of inside of a mountain. It seems like it would fit. I quickly came across some gold as the first ore I decided to mine. Remember, we're still trying to go for that notch apple, man. We need eight blocks of gold. And yeah, as I kept on going, this cave seemed really plentiful and full of ores. I'm also getting some lapis, and I'm not really sure what this is for since it's not used for enchanting right now, but I'm just gonna hold on to it, because that update is gonna come soon. And here, this just proves my point, man. I have a bunch of gold next to some lapis, next to some iron. I feel like the ore generation has changed a lot, man. I don't think this stuff was that common before. I'm gonna uncut this clip, but I wasn't really necessarily planning on recording here, but I spotted some diamonds right next to all that as well. Literally five seconds from each other. Of course, I went over to go mine the diamonds, and what do you know, there's some gold right next to it, man. Oh, I love this, bro actually getting spoiled with all these ores. Oh, and I spot another gold ore across the lava pool. We've got to be close to the notch apple now, right? And there we go, guys. That is going to be the end for today's video. Of course, this is only part one of many parts of this series. Since this part of the video has taken so much time to make, I need to just get it out to you guys as fast as possible. I cannot keep you guys waiting for this long. I'm super sorry about that. So be on the lookout for the next couple of episodes. They should be rolling out in the next few weeks. And I might trickle in some of the normal hardcore videos as well, because you guys seem to miss them. And as always, here are two common shoutout winners from the previous 100 Days video, which was the medieval one. Congratulations to you two. And if you are new to this channel, we do a thing called common shoutouts, where I I will tell you a secret word of the day. I'll tell you it in a second. And then you can comment it down in the video along with like a phrase or whatever you want to say. And you will have a chance to be featured in the next 100 days video. So actually for today's comment shout out, let's do our favorite Minecraft version. You can also tell me why it is your favorite down below. I will be sure to pick a couple of you guys for the next video. With all that being said, I hope all of you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys next time.